Now, why would you gilly up a poncho? Um, well, the whole theory behind it is that, you know, you're going to have uh, one item that can do two things. One, make you uh, keep you dry in a, in a downpour. Uh, well, mostly anyway. And the other thing is, if it's not raining in, you know, an extreme circumstance or, or any circumstance for that matter, um, you may want to opt to just wear it as a ghillie, um, a makeshift ghillie. So that's, um, that's the theory about behind the whole project. So the poncho I'm using, um, you would have seen this poncho in a previous video. So if you haven't seen that one, watch that one. Um, it's made by Haas. Um, it's, again, it's, it's, I think it's about $30 or something like that. Uh, the amount of times I'm going to be wearing a, a, a wet weather poncho is um, pretty well, well near next, next to no, not at all. But it's a good thing to keep in your kit. Um, now this poncho is quite re reflective, um, but so is the, the, the webbing that I'm going to be using. Um, this is a nylon, very thin nylon sort of material, super light and it's waterproof. So it's basically made of the same stuff as the poncho. So it's not going to um, retain water and get heavier. Um, and it's gonna keep, keep, keep light. So they're the ingredients. So what I'm gonna do is just cut three pieces uh, to size, one for a hood and the other two for each shoulder and just glue them on um, with some aerodite. Now these are the three pieces I've cut. And they're roughly around 500 by 500. This comes in a complete sheet that's probably about, uh, I'm taking a guess, a couple of metres by 1200 or something like that. Um, get it off eBay, super cheap. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm gonna use. So for the hood, I've uh, marked the centre point of, of the highest point of the hood. And on the scrim, I've uh, measured halfway on that as well. So that's the halfway point. And what you do, or what I'm doing, is I'm going to pair up both those marks and then glue um, in the spots to to uh, retain it to the, the hood. So in this stage, I've just laid out the fabric and I'm just spot gluing all the uh, scrim to the poncho. Once it's dried, I'll, um, cause it's quite shiny. It's really uh, shiny, the glue when it adheres. So I'll be, uh, rattle canning the uh, the glue. So this is the, uh, the final product. I could have added more scrim on the center of the back, but again, I just couldn't be bothered, but um, I think it's good enough for, for the intent I'm gonna use it for. Alright, so we're into the final part of this video and this is the last test. So I'm out in the bush obviously um, and I'm going to give it a go and see how this uh, compares um, against the veg, the local veg. Now again the, the poncho is uh, Oscam. It's it's not a hundred percent. It's not a real. I don't think it looks like a real Oscam. It's a little bit 
the colors are not exactly right um, and this webbing is obviously not Auscam it's just it's sort of like a uh, a woodland almost without the brown but um, the amount of times I'm going to use it which is bugger all um, it's going to suit my needs fine um, now again the reason I'm doing this is that I always carry a poncho and if you're if you're if you carry a poncho have you considered about you know doing what I'm doing here which is also uh, adding scrim to it so you could also use it as a a makeshift ghillie um, it's not a, a perfect ghillie um, uh, situation but it's better than nothing and the material or well, the screen that I'm using is as I've mentioned before it's waterproof it's very light and it hasn't really if anything it's probably added maybe twice the weight to the to the already very light poncho so the next thing to do is I'll whack it on and go and sit in the bush and just see how effective it really is or maybe it's not effective we'll see um, keep in mind that it's to start with uh, this material is quite reflective um, again I didn't go out and spend a lot of money on a, a, a really good quality poncho because I'm not going to use it that much um, and even so in the in when it's raining a lot of the vegetation is going to be sort of reflecting anyway so it doesn't really matter too much I mean it is only millstone for uh, after all all right so stand by and um, I'll whack on the the poncho and and see how I go Also, one of the things I had to do, because um, I used Aerodite to glue this on, the Aerodite has come super shiny, almost like a glass. So I've just grabbed some uh, Rust-Oleum and uh, gave it every bit of glue a quick uh, spray. All right. That wraps up the video. Um, I looked at, I watched some of the playback and I think it turned out not too bad um, considering. Again, um, I think it's a good idea to have one item that can do two things. Again, it's the, the amount of times that I'm going to use a poncho is near next to not at all. Um, but I'm going to carry a poncho all the time and convert it to 
sort of a half ghillie. I can see the advantages of that. Um, the only thing I want to mention also is being waterproof the poncho. It's, uh, it's a little bit warm, especially during uh, a summer's day, like today. But it's not unbearable. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that, and um, I'll catch you on the next one, and uh, happy hunting. All right.